Yeah, John, welcome to Swindon. Um, how, how happy are you to, to be at the club? Uh, delighted, absolutely delighted. Um, it's happened quite quickly over the last week. Um, obviously, with the the relegation, what happened last season. So you know, for for myself, I, you know, it's a club that you look upon. Um, you know, in Division Two, especially. You know, it's definitely a Division One club, and that's our aim this year: is to try and get back the club back where it should be, belong. Um, and so, I assume the challenge was something that that was a factor in making you want to apply for the job. It is, yeah, but it's it's Swindon Town. I mean, that alone makes you want to apply for the job. And I'm sure there was numerous applicants for it as well. Um, and I'm fortunate enough to, to get my hands on it as such. So I'm absolutely delighted. It's a, it's a big club. Uh, there's a lot of work to be done. There's a lot of work to be done. A lot of players that we need to bring in. But that's another challenge within itself. And uh, I'm looking forward to that challenge. And in terms of ambitions, I suppose the ultimate goal is getting us back up. Is there anything else that you obviously want to achieve whilst you're here? Again, it, I think that's the fundamental of it really, is literally getting the club back into where it is, because again, which, which is going to be excellent this year, you know, the crowds are going to be back, which I'm, you know, I, I, you know, I'm obviously thinking last season it didn't help the position the club was in, but this year we need to get you know, running in as quick as we can, a couple of signings to get that statement of intent on side, get the fans right behind us and uh, have a good push, you know, a, a right good goal, getting the, you know, our club back out the league. Yeah, and I think especially with the fans not being able to be here, how important is it for you to sort of build a relationship with the fans almost instantly? And how do you do that? It's huge because, again, your identify yourself with the fans. You know, you want a nice link in with the fans. You want that connection with the players and the fans. And the most important thing is we're all pulling together to win games of football for the football club. And, you know, the position we're in, back into Division 2, we all know it's a tough league. Um, you know, prior to what happened with the pandemic, I think there was like 10 or 12 games left and, you know, the club got out of the league and it wasn't be to, you know, stay in Division 1, which again is an even tougher league. But coming back down again, you know, we can reinvigorate ourselves, make some good signings, make signings of intent um, and get the fans on board. That's the thing. And, you know, I'm sure they've missed football for that whole season and they'll be desperate as anyone to come back and support the club. Perfect. And I mean, in terms of so your first day at the club, yeah, um, I've been in very long. What are your first impressions of everyone? Again, so far? what a thought of. I've been here a number of times as a player and also um, as a manager as well, taking clubs here. So I know roughly around. I know where to park the car and stuff like that. I've seen a couple of familiar faces that you see on match days, but uh, I keep going back to it. It's a big club, you know. It's, it's steeped in history as well. Um, when the opportunity is to come here to manage the football club. I, I've jumped all over it, so I'm, I'm really delighted to, to get the opportunity to manage it. And I see that sort of makes it the right time for you to, to be stepping into a role. Um, absolutely. Because yeah, absolutely, because it is, it, it's a big challenge. You know, you only have to look at, you know, the, the, the change of staff and the players in the off-season. But again, that's that's in a, a positive note, because then we can put our own stamp on the team that's coming in, um, get the players that are on board already, have chats with them individually to let them know what's expected now in this off-season. Um, to get together for when we come for the pre-season first date. And uh, we've spoken about the, the players that, that we currently got contracted. Some yeah. fans might think, oh, we know it's all doom and gloom, we haven't got enough players. But surely, in your position, it's a positive thing for you to then, like you say, for yourself. Yeah, and things. there's been a bit of work um, behind the scenes, um, you know, chatting away with um, what, what type of players and agents and stuff like that already. But again, yeah, as you say, it's a bit of a blank, blank canvas. Um, you know, there's reasons why the club got relegated. You know, we don't need to go into that as such because obviously the players weren't good enough at that time. But again, that can develop a little, you know, the players that are left behind, a little bit of a siege mentality of they've already been promoted, a couple of them already. So they know how that feels. And now it's, if we can add one or two of the good players, attacking players, defensive players, we're in that group as well. Um, you know, we're hoping to win games of football to get the club out the league. Just finally, what, what can fans expect from a, a John McGrill sort of football inside? Um, I, I love pace. I, I must admit, I do like pace. I like um, you know dynamics. I like a bit of strength throughout my team because I think you look at only look at the three clubs and you're looking at the final already in Division Two. You you Cambridge, you Cheltenham to mention it too. You know strong member in the team, good pace around it, um, and you're looking at your Morecambe's and your your Newports. Um, you know different styles of play. But again, they're always there. You know, the, the teams you're talking about tend to be there, they're there about every season, apart from Morgan with Derek has done a, a fantastic job. So, you know, you only have to look at what's happened this year really um, to see, you know, how to get out the league. Perfect. Wicked. Well we
look forward to having you here, John. Hopefully, yeah. No, I'm delighted. Absolutely delighted. Yes, so I can't wait to get started.